Okay, man, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk, exploring the issues affecting all of our lives. I'm your host, Austin Harris. Well, it is once again our pleasure to have back in studios the Cayman National Cultural Foundation here to share with us a number of exciting new and not so new programs that the community can all get involved with. Uh, it is our pleasure to welcome back in studios. Well, actually, in studios for the first time. Yes. The, the, the first time we had uh, our guest Zoom. via Zoom. Yes. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome the Director of Programs and Communications for the Cayman National Cultural Foundation, Miss Melanie McField. Thank you again Thank for being you. with us. Thanks for having me. A great pleasure. And again, uh, welcome to our humble home. Yes, I yes. love it. Thank I you. I love, Thank love you. the decor, the setup, everything. Very comfortable, yeah? Very comfortable. Very, yes. very Caymanian. Very Caymanian yes. indeed, including, where is it? <laughs> the it's conch shell. Conch shell. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> right. That. They made sure they put a conch shell behind me. Love it. Love it. Um, well, we have a number of um, exciting programs to share with our audience mm -hmm. uh, today. One, unfortunately, we just missed the deadline, but I think it is a fantastic program and worth talking about. Uh, let's begin with the after school workshop series. Tell us a little bit about this new program and how long perhaps it's been running. I believe this might be a new program uh, from CNCF. Yes. So the after school workshop series is a series of performing arts workshops that were born out of the recent summer camp that we had in July. The cultural immersion. The cultural immersion um, youth summer camp. So parents wanted, you know, and, and were desperate for their, their kids to be involved with something more culturally heritage focused yeah. and of course performing arts um, relevant. So we figured, you know what, clearly there's a demand here. Let's see what we can do to, to cater to, to students between the ages of nine and 16. Okay. And some of the more popular performing arts classes were dance, mm -hmm. steel pan, yes. and drama. Okay. So we decided why not provide provide those workshops with with instructors in those fields mm -hmm. to provide the, the quality of, of what CNCF is known for to those students. And that's how the workshop series was born. All right. Mm -hmm. And so so if I understand you correctly, there'll be three different series um, focusing in on the various disciplines, steel pan, drama, and dance. Correct. Okay. So the, the three series, as I mentioned before, for ages nine to, to 16 or grades five to 10, mm -hmm. dance will be on Mondays and Thursdays, steel pan on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and drama on Mondays and Tuesdays. Now there's some parents that want to or, or, or have, have registered their, their kids for more than one of the, the workshops. But unfortunately, the days conflict right. for certain workshops. So, and it's mandatory to, to attend both days mm -hmm. because this program leads into a bigger program that we're planning that I can't say much about right now. So but you will, I eventually. Will. as a matter of fact, you will announce Abs it right I here. I will, I will. So, um, so we're, we're trying to grow that program, the future program, with these workshop series. Mm -hmm. So it's, in, it's very important that the students attend both classes for each of the workshops. And it's not a either or, okay. you know? So I know, for example, the, the dance and drama would conflict because they're both on Mondays, right. you know? But steel pan and dance, I believe, are different days. So a lot of students have registered for both of those. I see. So they get to enjoy two of the workshops, Wonderful. but they're all great workshops. They're only $25 per workshop for the entire term. Oh, wow. So this is from very affordable. Yeah, very affordable. So this is from September straight through to December. Okay. And at the end of that, we have a, a culmination of the three groups mm -hmm. doing a onstage showcase. Okay. For everyone to see all the hard work they put into these oh, very workshops. Good. Very yeah. good. Now I know the registration, as we mentioned in the opening, we just missed the registration by a matter of days. Yes. Um, is there any possibility? Is there any wiggle room? Perhaps you know, parents listening to today's broadcast and wanting to be involved. So before we even before I even came here today, Steel Pan was oversubscribed. So Steel Pan is definitely not available. Mm -hmm. We do have um, the possibility of dance and drama um, spaces being available for students, 
but they would have to get in touch with us as the registration form is no longer active. So they can contact us via email okay. if they're really interested, cncf at artscayman.ky, sorry, dot org. Or they can give us a buzz on 949-5477. Excellent, excellent. Well, just before we, we, we leave this program, uh, mm -hmm. which again, we congratulate you on a brand new program. Thank you. Uh, I think a very um, a useful program, giving uh, you know useful lessons in Cayman's culture, yes. dance, uh, steel pan, which I'm most impressed with. Yes. Uh, I think Michael had even tried to get me behind one of the steel pans and I <laughs> I bowed out. I know my own limitations, but it was really impressive to watch. Uh, but I think they're very wholesome programs for our young people in yeah. a safe environment. Uh, just for completeness, if we could just share the details of the various workshops and, of course, the days in which they will be hosted for the young people in attendance. Okay, so we have dance. Dance is from Mondays, to thir Mondays and Thursdays. We have steel pan on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And we have drama on Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay. Now, they're, they, the groups are split up into two, um, grades five to seven and grades eight to 10. Mm -hmm. And the times, because it's, it's, it's more age appropriate based on what the instructor is gonna be teaching, yes. the younger group is from 3.30 to 4.30 and the older group 4.30 to 5.30. Right. So it's still within a reasonable time for parents to do drop-offs and pickups for their, for their kids. So we try to make it as convenient as possible as well. Wonderful. And again, the the registration fee, if you still want to get in for drama and dance, there's possible room for that. It's only $25, and that that is from the 5th of September, which is, has already started, through to the 8th of December. Okay. And then we do an end-of-term production on the 9th of December. Excellent. So it's a it's an entire school term for just twenty five dollars. Yeah, no, you, you, you know, so excellent opportunity. And if you want more information, you can visit our website at www.artscayman.org, or you email us at cncf at artscayman.org, or give us a call nine four nine five four seven seven. Fantastic. So twenty five dollars, extremely affordable, three months, September to December, uh, and again, uh, an opportunity to. To learn any one of three skills uh, exactly. for your kids after school terrific opportunity and again congratulations to the cncf for launching this now we have another program um, which deadline is still available an opportunity for mm -hmm. you for people to get involved and that is auditions are being held uh, for the cayman national folk singers group correct um, I think maybe for the benefit of a listening audience, before we talk about the program and the mm -hmm. auditions and what's required, talk to us about the Folk Singers program. So the Cayman Islands Folk Singers was established in 2009, and it consists of amateur singers and musicians. The, the program basically, the, the mandate and the purpose of the Folk Singers is basically to preserve our Caymanian folk music. Right to the highest art artistic and, and technical standards. We want to be on the same level as any other Caribbean folk singers choir. And that is what the Cayman Islands Folk Singers aim is. Yes. So the, the folk singers, of course, um, sing traditional Caymanian folk music. And it's important to preserve that music because especially for young people, they don't have, a lot of them don't have the grandparents to tell the stories. So the Cayman Islands folk singers tell those stories through song, right. you know? And, and that's the main purpose of, of, of the folk singers. Well, that's fantastic. Now tell us, um, what types of individuals um, are the CNCF looking for to come out for this audition? Young, old, does age matter? Tell us. So for now, for the, for the adult folk singers, because we're also um, establishing a youth, youth folk singers choir, okay. but that's coming up in, in the 2023 year of, okay. of what we're planning for. So I'll, right. I'll speak to that Perfect. some watch more when space. that time. Yes, watch this space. So for the adult folk singers choir, we're looking for anyone 18 plus, Caymanian or Caymanian resident or yeah. a resident of, of the Cayman Islands. Mm -hmm. Anyone who, who enjoys singing, who has a great singing voice, um, you don't have to be, you know, it, for some people they haven't sang in, in years. Right. So, you know, we're, 
we're okay with that. You know, come out, show your talents. Um, movement is also important, right. which is something we're going to be, you know, incorporating more of. Sure. But, you know, anyone, like I said, if you like to sing, if you're 18 plus, you came on in or a resident, Folk Singers is for you. All right. Now, you mentioned um, for persons, perhaps they may like to sing, mm -hmm. but they haven't actually sang um, either individually or with a group in a long, long time. time. Will there be sort of a, a brush up opportunity? Uh, how heavy are we waiting? Right. You know, the scoring in terms of the, you know, those who pass or fail the auditions. Exactly. So, um, now the the auditions are going to be judged by four very competent judges, right? Who know music mm -hmm. and and vocals and right. things that I know nothing about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but once the the new uh, members are selected, they're going to be rehearsing with the current members, and vocal training is going to be provided. Okay. Choreography um, is going to be provided, and we also have a musical director that will be assisting with leading that choir. And his name is Noel Wallace. He's been a, a, a big part of this, the folk singers for many years. Uh -huh. So we're happy to have him back on board. Oh, nice. Very yeah. nice. So, okay. yeah. And in terms of voices, I know there's, there's a bass, there's tenor, there's soprano. Mm -hmm. uh, are you looking for any specific singing style or? All of what you just all mentioned. All in sundry. Yes. All right, all right. <laughs> well, if you're a bass, you're a tenor or a soprano, Come on out and uh, uh, you know try out for the uh, folk singers. Now, where I'm assuming the uh, the tryouts will be held uh, at, at the theater, but please tell us where persons who are interested mm -hmm. uh, in auditioning. First of all, where do they register, and then where do they go after they register? Right. So the auditions are going to be held on the fifteenth mm -hmm. of September at the Harkwell Theater, the main theater. And to register, you go to our website, yes. artscayman.org. Mm -hmm. There's a flyer on there for folk singers auditions. You click on that flyer and it's, it takes you straight to the registration form. Complete that and send that in to us and okay. you're registered. All right. So um, registration, I think, I'm not sure when registration ends. Forgive me for that. But just get on there and register now. Sure, absolutely. You know? still have time. <laughs> yes. Now's the time still have to time. do it. Exactly. For those persons who perhaps may be listening mm -hmm. and have only heard of the Cayman Folk Singers by name, mm -hmm. but have never actually seen or heard a performance, is there anywhere they can go uh, to sort of get an idea as right. to what they might be getting themselves into? So the Cayman Islands Folk Singers has a Facebook page that you can check out previous performances that they've done over the years, mm -hmm. but they have, they have performed for national events, they've performed you know, internationally as well. And um, they've even produced their own album. Oh, really? And they've, yeah, they have. And they've done major productions here in Cayman as well at, at the Harkwell. Okay. We're also working with them for Old Persons Month mm -hmm. in October for them to do performances in the, in the various districts. Okay. So you'll see them as soon as the month of October, which is next month, of course. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're, they're all over. All right, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, well, I'm going to sort of you know, name drop here for a second. I, mm -hmm. uh, I have a friend in a different life mm -hmm. uh, who was and perhaps may still be a member of the Cayman National Folk Singers, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Teresa Echeniki. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there, Teresa, say, hey, how you doing? She is. Uh, she is, but mm -hmm. she's been fantastic. And I, I've, I, I've attended one or two of, of her performances, so I have an idea of, you know, certainly what the folk singers are all about. And mm -hmm. they have quite an extensive repertoire. Of very, songs, very. and as you say, it's not just singing, uh, there is movement involved, so they're yes. gonna sway their hips yes. a little bit. Yes, um, but what are some of the favorites, or even what are some of your favorites? So, I love <laughs> and I always laugh when I say this, Kunk Nagano Boon. So, that's one of my favorites. Okay. Also, um, Manzi Boat <laughs> in the Sound. Yes. Um, Come Back Home is also um, a favorite and a popular one. And, and obviously the, the, um, the national song yeah. is a big part of what they sing as well. And um, Rice and Beans, I don't know if you heard that I one. I haven't heard but that yeah. one yet. Yeah, those are some of the popular songs. They, like I said, they, like you said, they have an extensive repertoire and yeah. not just Caymanian folk songs, right. but our neighboring Caribbean islands of as course. well. Indeed. They, yes. Because right. the idea is, of course, not to just cater to to 
Caymanians, but you know, we have what over 140 plus yeah, nationalities, nationalities here. Living here yeah. Absolutely. So we need to be able to to sing songs that are familiar right. with, you know, some of the other Caribbean nationalities that are here as well. So we have quite a quite a regional repertoire as well other than just our Cayman folk songs. Indeed. All right. Well, if you're a singer, uh, whether you be a church choir singer or just a singing in the mm -hmm. shower, mm -hmm. uh, and this sounds like a, an opportunity for you, reach out to the Cayman National Cultural Foundation today and get registered for the National Folk Singers Auditions, uh, which will be taking place uh, very shortly. Yes, September 15th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Harkwell Theatre. Fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic. Well, finally, um, another project, one that... I have to say, it's very near and dear to my heart, and I think near and dear to the heart of a lot of Caymanians, and mm -hmm. that is uh, your Mind's Eye program. Yes. Uh, for the benefit of the listening audience who have no idea what we're talking about, mm -hmm. talk to us about Mind's Eye. So Mind's Eye comprises of an educational center mm -hmm. and also of Miss Lassie's house. Right. And for those that are not familiar with Miss Lassie's house, it is... It is that very colorful artistic house at the end of Walker's Road. Yes. So it's at the cross section of Walker's Road and South Sound. Yes. And it is the house that Miss Lassie and her siblings actually grew up in. And mm -hmm. Miss Lassie, you know, as, as they say her, her government name mm -hmm. is is Gladwin K. Bush, right. you know, aka Miss Lassie. She she actually got that name from her, her brother, because Miss mm -hmm. Lassie was the last of eleven siblings. And Lassie, the last right. sibling yes. from her brother Wilton, so she's always had that name, you know. So, so all of her siblings have called her that. Her parents have called her that. But she grew up in in that house, and she was what we call an intuitive artist. Mm -hmm. So her her dreams, whenever she had a dream, she painted what she dreamed. Yes. Bearing in mind, now she started painting at the age of sixty-two. So right. yeah, but she painted everything. She painted the walls, the <laughs> ceilings, the, the 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 windows, everything, wherever in she canvas. yes. And that not only is it a, a, a cultural and, and and heritage icon um, here in the Cayman Islands, but it is internationally known as well. Yes. So what we've offered now for for the public and for students is a tour of Miss Lassie's house, but behind Miss Lassie's house is what we called. The Mind's Eye Educational Center, right, right. which is an opportunity for students to take part in artistic um, activities yes. that are reminiscent of what Miss Lassie used to do, yes, yes. as well as um, we have a video series that's age appropriate, depending on the age of, of the students, for them to, to listen to Miss Lassie tell her story. Right. So that's the education center. And then, of course, we take people on tours of Miss Lassie's house, mm -hmm. which is very tiny, by the way. Yes. So the, the tour groups are, are the maximum that can go into Miss Lassie's house is about eight people. Really? Okay, that much? Yeah, not I much. Thought, I would have thought, I I would have thought <laughs> even, even less uh, yeah. people than that. I mean, we, we, we cater to tours of about 16 right. people, but we, we break the tour groups into two. Mm -hmm. Sometimes three, depending okay. on, on how many people we have. Okay. Because if we have students, some students can watch the video while, doing, while others are doing the artwork mm -hmm. and, and the other group can be touring Miss Lassie's house. So we try to work with, with various, because obviously there, there's more than 16 students yeah. in a class. Absolutely. Yeah, so we try to work with the numbers. Given the relative small size, not only of Miss Lassie's uh, home mm -hmm. itself, mm -hmm. uh, but of the overall Mind's Eye Park, I would suspect that reservations would be required as opposed to just show up and, exactly. and take the tour. Is that, is that the case? Ab absolutely. So for the public tours, we do those on Saturdays mm -hmm. and we do them from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So it's an hour long tour. And for students, we obviously offer them throughout the school year, mm -hmm. but on Tuesdays and Thursdays only mm -hmm. from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Okay. Uh, sorry, from 10 o'clock to 11.30 a.m. So we give a bit more time to students, an right. hour and a half. And yes, it is mandatory to book these tours because obviously we're not going to be hanging out at Miss Lassie's waiting for people to come, indeed, right? Indeed, so of course. Uh, tours are, and, and obviously the size as well. Right. So the reservation is mandatory. And again, 
to, to, to book a tour, you can email us at cncf at artscayman.org or you can give us a call at 949-5477 for those reservations. Very good, yeah. very good. Now, are these tours available to all age groups? Ages 4 to 16. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, if we have the public coming with younger kids, that's not a problem, but for school ages, four to 16 plus. All right. Yeah. Just a thought off the top of my head. Is it also handicap friendly? I know there's persons perhaps with disabilities that might like to get out. Are so, there restrictions? So it's handicap friendly for the, for the educational center. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not for Miss Lassie's house, right. as you can imagine, yes. because that is preserved in as much of its natural state as possible. And the doors themselves are, are fairly narrow, narrow you right. know, because, I mean, this house has been around from the 1867, I think it was. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, unfortunately not. But we are working on ways to provide a virtual tour okay. of Miss Lassie's house yes. for people such as those that, you know, are, sure. are overseas or are handicapped and just, just can't physically get there. Yes. You know, so we're working on that. Oh. Lots of stuff going yeah. on behind the scenes. I see that. I see that. And then we talk <laughs> yeah, about it. Yeah, I can't tell you everything. You Not know? everything, but you do, but you will tell us everything <laughs> when the time comes. Yes. When that time I was just comes. thinking of that of, of that um, virtual tour, you're gonna have to incorporate those 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 that the that video mask. I see young people yeah. you know playing video games as if they're in the game. Although, whenever I think oh, I of that, oh, I, I think of kids again. hitting stuff. Yes. So, right, right. We don't want that in Miss Lassie's house, though. No, no, no. You don't want, you don't want wild heart movements no. at all. <laughs> well, Miss Lassie's house, of course, Mind's Eye located, as uh, Melanie pointed out, at the T-junction, the end of Walker's Road and the beginning of South Sound. You can't miss it. you got exactly. a stop sign. Just keep looking in front of you. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. It can't be missed. Uh, reservations are encouraged. Mm -hmm. uh, groups of no more than eight, uh, I think. Uh, a minimum of eight, no mm -hmm. more than sixteen okay. for public for public tours. Public School tours, tours we, we we're a bit more flexible, so okay. more than sixteen we oh. can work with. All but right. we'll just split them into threes. All right. groups well, of if, threes. if you've if you've never had the opportunity to tour Miss Lassie's home or the Mind's Eye Center, uh, certainly it is a it is a visit worth taking. And one definitely worth remembering. Absolutely. And I know one of the biggest concerns for people is parking. Yes. There is an open lot across the road from yes. its lasses yes. that, that has ample parking for those visiting. Right. So. And again, that would be to the right of the stop sign. If you're coming yes. from Walker's Road into the South Sound, right. you can't miss the open lot and can't neither can you lot. miss Miss Lassie's house or mine's eye. Well, Absolutely. we have the after-school workshop series, which mm -hmm. of course is underway already, uh, but there might be some flexibility uh, for space available for parents who might still be interested in getting their young people involved. We've got the Cayman National Folk Singers Auditions, mm -hmm. uh, which I think the deadline for that is the 15th of well, September. Well, the auditions are the 15th of, of September. Taking place on the 15th. Is it the Second. Yeah, no, let's get these details right, but we yes. will be, One of second. course, uh, Sorry. sharing images uh, of, the, of these programs uh, in this interview, so we're just going to make sure we get the dates right. Yeah, it is the 15th, so the auditions are, are the 15th of September, and I believe the audition, the deadline for auditions registration is the 14th, okay. so we take registrations right up until the day before. Excellent, yep. excellent, mm -hmm. and then of course, last but not least, Mind's Eye Tours, uh, again, an opportunity to tour. Uh, the home of the late Miss Lassie, yes. uh, an opportunity to see some fantastic artwork, and as uh, Melanie pointed out, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, but also, of course, the grounds itself is a trip worth taking. And just to add, the, the Educational Centre also has on display paintings for, paintings of Miss Lassie's, okay. you know, so we've set up the Educational Centre um, as a gallery mm -hmm. um, showcasing some of her pieces. I mean, she's she has hundreds of pieces of, 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 of artwork yes. so we've we've in a almost a chronological order based on the the bible because she focused more on christian themes whenever yes. she she had her dreams yes. so we've laid them out with um you know the birth of jesus straight through to um his resurrection his christmas mm. so it, it you have to come and see it yeah have All you right. been there before austin I, have been you been to the educational center I've been to the educational mm -hmm. center and I've been to the Mind's Eye. I've done I've done each once. Okay, great. But it's certainly time for a refresh. Yeah, wouldn't would you say? It? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you'll go with me. I will absolutely. Right, I'll fine. be I'll be your docent. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> How can I turn that down? 
Well, Melanie, again, thank you so very much for sharing these programs with us and our listening audience. Thank you very much for returning to studios. Uh, certainly, Let's Talk is committed uh, to things Caymanian, mm -hmm. and certainly as is the Cayman National Cultural Foundation, keeping Cayman's culture preserved and alive and vibrant. Yes. Uh, so it's been a real treat, an opportunity for some closing comments, if you like. So for all of what we've just discussed, there are three ways to, to get more information. Yes. Our website, which is arts cayman.org. You can send us an email, cncf at artscayman.org, okay. and also give us a call at 949-5477. We also have social media. Cayman Culture is our handle for both Instagram and Facebook. All right. And all of what we've just discussed, you can find on, on, on those channels as well, those handles as well. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Well, thank you very much for being our guest and thank sharing you. these wonderful programs, and certainly for the parents who will participate with their young children, whether it be the workshops, uh, or certainly for the younger, uh, or not so young uh, adult, not so old adults, yes. <laughs> certainly, you know, exercising their singing voices as part of the folk singers auditions, or again, uh, people of all ages taking advantage of the Mind's Eye Tours. Uh, again, I think they will be glad they participated. So thank you again. Thank you for, for having me. Let's Talk. Always, always a pleasure. And to our listening audience, as always, we hope you have enjoyed today's episode as much as we did. If you did, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't be shy. Leave your comments uh, on our YouTube channel, whether it be on the episode you've just watched or episode you would like to see Let's Talk present. Remember to tune in to Let's Talk every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. For Let's Talk, exploring the issues that affect all of our lives, I'm your host, Austin Harris. <laughs>